A very blessed day, everyone. Greetings to you in the name of the Father, the Creator, Allah, the Most High, Yah, Yod Heh Vah Elohim, God in our modern day name, and in the name of the Lord, Thoth Melchizedek, Yehovah. This is Neophyte DAG, bringing you the continuation of the Egypt, Earth, Eagles, Babylon, Assyria, Nineveh, Asia, Amorites, all names from America shall pass away. The Esau, the Gentiles ruled under these names over the planet shall pass away. And in this message, it takes us right back to the foundation of it all. Genesis 15, verse 13, Genesis 15, verse 14, which tells you there will be a group of people that's already on the land and that will be brought to the land as well that will go under affliction for 400 years at the end of one nation, not nations, one nation, which is the eagles, and they shall afflict these people for 400 years, which is 144,000 days. 400 years times 360 brings you 144,000. Those who are into the esoteric know the significance of 144 and 144,000. But it brings us now to our message which is taken from Genesis 15, verse 14, because the affliction is done. Now it's time for the judgment. Also, that nation, not nations. So it can't be all the nations that did the afflicting. It's talking about one nation, and that one nation, Egypt, Earth, Eagles, Babylon, Assyria, Nineveh, Asia, Amorites, the people that are doing the afflicting, the Gentiles, and Esau, which are the Caucasian people, they will be judged afterwards. They will serve these people, these nations that give themselves all those names, but that nation will I judge and then those who are afflicted, they shall come out with great substance. They shall go back to their five divine laws, their connection to their God, their left hand social, coming a nation of people, their right hand building righteous laws and subduing everything on that land or by sea, and their feet, their economics. They'll go back to the earth and get everything that they need to sustain themselves from the earth and the center of the cross, their cross philosophy, is the food that they eat shall be herbs, trees, and fruits that are seeded that shall be their meat, not the flesh of cattle, not the flesh of beasts, not the flesh of fowl, which is of blood. That nation which gave them all these things and took them away from their five divine laws shall not continue, but shall pass away. Which brings me to the warning. The Most High, he tells the ending at the beginning and he gives you warnings. The Lord, which is the son of the Most High, does the same thing because the words that he speak is of the Most High. So you will be warned. And that's where we read from the book of Ezra. It's in your Holy Bible. It was part of your King James 1611 original Bible. It was taken out because they say it tells too much, but they didn't say that. They said, well, it costs too much to print it with the Apocryphas. So we're going to take out the Apocryphas because it costs too much. Lies on top of lies. It tells too much because it tells you in plain language what's going to happen to those who are doing the afflicting. Second Ezra 16, we start with verse 35, which is the warning of the impending disaster. Listen now to these things and understand them, O servants of the Lord, Melchizedek, Jehovah, he's talking to you, O children of Israel, you, O house of Israel, house of Judah, house of Jacob, talking to you. 
Behold the words of the Lord. Receive it, O oh, my dark-skinned, melanated people of the house of Israel, the house of Jacob, the house of Judah. Talking to the black people in America because this is where the afflicting took place and this is where the judging of the Gentiles, Esau, in America. This is where the Caucasians now are being judged. Behold the words of the Lord. Receive it. Do not disbelieve what the Lord says. Do not disbelieve what the Lord says. The Lord cannot lie. He tells you up front what's going to happen. So listen and do not say, hey, I don't believe that. That's all lies. That's to your detriment. Behold the calamities, the 12 calamities as described in Baruch, 2 Baruch chapter 27, Apocalypse of Abraham chapter 30. Listen, those calamities are coming. Listen, those plagues are coming. And they are not delayed. Giving you the warning, he's saying. They're coming. They're not delayed. If you don't believe, believe. So the calamities will not delay in its coming. You're in the calamities now. It's up on earth, which is America. How many catastrophic things have happened so far since 2020? Everything was nice and good all along, up until 2019. The whole thing went to crap, 2020. Plague upon the land, hailstorm, snowstorm, hurricanes, all kind of extreme things, volcanoes erupting, earthquake popping up, all kind of different things. That's the phase that is going through now, the beginning stage of the calamities. It cometh forth, it's here upon you now, and the world will groan. It's up on the earth, right? And it's telling you the world will groan. Why didn't they say the earth will groan? Because the earth is separate from the world. They're trying to give you that separation. The earth is America. The world is the rest of the world, including America. The entire world will groan and pains will seize it. Europe, America, Asia, Africa. All pain is going to seize the entire world on every side. No one will escape the pains that are here, the ones that are coming, and they will keep ramping up. Hear my words. That's what the Lord is telling you. Hear this warning. Oh, my people, which are the dark-skinned, melanated people. Jacob, Israel, Judah. The short name for Judah is Jew. Hear this word, the American descendants of slaves, because you are the ones who were afflicted. It starts with you. You have to get your great substance, then spread that substance to the rest of the world. So you is where the story is concentrated on. You is where the story is focused on. And you shall be the original light for all other lights across the entire planet. Prepare for battle. It's a spiritual war you're going through right now. Those of darkness decide they don't want to leave their comfort zones. They don't want to leave the control that they have over you. They don't want to leave the affliction that they have done. They don't want to give you that substance that's supposed to come to you. They don't want to leave you so you can work your own five divine laws. They don't want to leave you so you can get your land back. You can get your food back. You can get your nation back. You can get your political structure back. You can get the access to your most high back. They don't want to let you do that. So it's a spiritual battle to free you. And in the midst of it, in the midst of all these things that are happening, all the calamities that are happening, oh, my children of Jacob, Israel, Judah, be like a stranger. Don't get involved. Let your father do his work. Let the Lord do his work. Be a stranger upon the land of America. The Gentiles, Esau, the Caucasians, they'll be running in confusions. Oh, children of Israel, children of Jacob, you are very kind-hearted people, regardless of what you think of yourself, that you're not. You are, and you take on the energy. You have been taking on the energy of all the Gentiles over these years, and have been feeding them that energy through all kind of things you attach yourself that they're going through, but which still keeps you at the bottom. 
and you attach yourself to it. So you're giving those things your energy. What the Lord and the Most High is telling you now, stop giving your energy to those things. Be a stranger in America. Let it be. Let those who afflict you go through their punishment because whatever you do, the law of karma is going to recompense it on your head. You can't expect to do all these things, all these afflicting, and don't expect an effect. Cause and effect. You can't break that universal law. You set up the cause, you'll get the effect. Bad cause of afflicting people, you are going to get the effect of that recompense on your head. Be a stranger, O oh, American descendants of slaves. Follow the words of what the Most High and the Lord are giving you because he's clearing the way for you. So all the things you see going on and we're going to go back to normal and we're going to rebuild and we're going to do this and you need to get back to work and take this and take that to get back to normal. No, because those who labor, labor in vain. He's going to destroy the whole thing in America. For strangers, intruders shall gather their fruit, shall steal everything that they try to go back to normal with and shall take by force all the things that they have garnered up as possessions, it shall be taken in the things that are to come. And they'll be overthrown. Their houses will be overthrown and taken from them. And their children will be taken as captives. Because they took your children in captivity. So recompense. Not that we want these things to happen, but the karma has to close. The karma can't be open forever. The loop has to close. For in captivity and famine, they will forget. They'll bring their children up and they'll forget them. Because these things are coming. These are things that you went through, O oh, house of Israel, when you were here as the original people. History repeats itself. There's nothing new under the sun. Those who conduct business, I want to go back to normal. I'm going to build up all these big enterprises and you have all these ideas that you're getting that you want to implement for 2022 and 2023. I'm going to make all this money. No, that won't happen. You do it only to be plundered when America is put to the sword. So if you want to spend your time building that, and not building your spiritual connection as to what's going to give you that arc, that protection when the time comes, go on ahead. But I advise you not to because it will only be plundered. The more you adorn your house, your car, all your physical possession, all these things that you have, the more you anger the Lord and the Most High because you're sticking and you're holding on to the materialistic things and not building on your spiritual self. Now, go within, center yourself, all your energy within, and everything else will be added to you. Seek ye the kingdom inside yourself. The kingdom is in you. Seven chakra, five spiritual channels on top of that seven, 12 in total. Your main center within you, that is the light. If your eye be single, your body will be filled with light. Your eye single is your pineal eye. That's where the light of the body is. If you activate that, if you make it single, the entire body will be filled with light. Center all your energy. Move it up your chakra point. Center it at the back of your head. Nothing negative can come through once you center your energy at the back of your head. I be single, your entire body will be filled with light. That's the essence of it. Nothing negative, no negative thoughts, no negative feelings, no negative emotions, no matter what you're going through that's negative, can come through once you center your thoughts at the back of your head. At default, it is between your eyes and your forehead. It's called your pituitary. When you move that thought to the back of your head and let it stay there, that's where it becomes the light, the eye single. Work on yourself 
and leave these material things to whoever who want it. But I'm talking to the children of Israel, the children of Jacob, the children of Lewis, the children of Judah, the dark-skinned, melanated people in America, the Caribbean, Central America, South America, and the rest of the world. Leave these materialistic things alone because it only will be plundered and destroyed in America first. This is where I'm concentrating this message. In America, the warning has been given. Take heed. This is now to the chosen because I'm telling you all these things are going to be happening and you're supposed to be a stranger. Ignore all of it. Let it play out. But don't feel for a minute the Most High and the Lord is going to leave you in the midst of all of this. All this madness is going on and you're running around not knowing what to do and you're in it. No, that's not the plan of the Most High. And the Lord is righteous seed. Those are Jacob who have moved themselves to Israel. That's the first righteous seed. Jacob who has held on to the words of the Most High and the words of Israel because Israel are the prophets that are being raised up now to give message to Jacob. Judah that's being raised up now that is giving message to Jacob. So those are the melanated, dark-skinned people that have got the spiritual awakening and said, I am going to share it with my brothers and sisters. I'm going to let them know what I know. I'm going to let the message that the Most High is telling me, I'm going to give it to my other brothers and sisters, regardless of color. But I want to make sure my dark-skinned people get this message because they're the ones who have been afflicted because I know the story now that I am the afflicted and those who afflict me are gonna have to account for that affliction. So I wanna make sure all my brothers and sisters, especially the ones who were afflicted, get this message, make themselves ready because they are the chosen seed, says the Lord. Behold, the days of tribulations are coming, they're near, you're in it now. But it's not tribulation for you once you've made yourself ready. Though I will deliver you from them. Though the Lord Melchizedek will deliver you from these tribulations that are coming. Do not fear. Do not fear. Do not fear. Because he did not give you the spirit of fear. He gave you the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. You got that fear from someone else. But he's telling you now, return that fear to whoever gave it to you. Return to sender. All the people that are doing all this wickedness and darkness, changing up all your religion, all your teachings, all kind of things you're doing to give you fear, give it back to them. Time to return what's not yours. Do not fear or doubt for the Most High is your guide. He's going to guide you through all of this. Keep his commandment. Keep the laws, the five divine laws, the seven principles of thought that deals with your energy and how you use your energy. Keep them and you shall be part of his resurrection. Keep the statutes, especially no idols and graven image. It might be hard for some of you, Israel, to keep the Sabbath. Keep it within your hearts. But keep his commandments, especially, especially the one which says, herbs, trees, fruits, seeded ones shall be your meat. Flesh, which is of life, which is of blood, you shall not eat, especially those two, because that's your covenant, the agreement you made, the contract that you made with the Most High, that you will not eat flesh, which is of blood. You will eat herbs, trees, and fruits because you are a, you are a, you are a herbivore. That's what you are. You're not a carnivore or an omnivore. You are a herbivore. That's what he put you on the planet as. And he gave you Genesis 1 verse 29 to back it up. God said, not man said. Do not let the sins because they give you flesh 
to help you break your contract with God and take on sin because they know once you break the contract, the most uh, is going to uproot you out of the contract until you come back and agree and obey the contract, which says the only thing that you need to do, the only thing specified in your contract is that you should not eat meat. If you don't eat the meat by cattle, beast, or fowl, or birds, then you shall get eternal blessing. You shall have sowing and harvesting, sowing and reaping, planting and reaping all the days of your life from the earth. The earth will be abundance to you. You shall subdue and rule over everything on land and on the seas like there is no tomorrow. Your name shall be blessed in front of the Most High and the Lord always, and you shall multiply, multiply immensely as a people of righteousness. That's your contract. That's a contract you made with the Most High. The only thing that you had to do in that contract, do not eat flesh, which is of blood. So once you go back to his law, that's why he's saying, keep my commandments and precepts. And do not let your sins pull you down. Go back to your contract. Stop eating meat as a carnivore or an omnivore. Go back to a herbivore. That's what your agreement said you would keep. You and your forefathers agreed to that. So your wickedness will not prevail over you. Better is a plate of herb, which is of love, than the stalled ox the star cattle, the star beast, which is of hate within it. Go back to what the Father told you and you shall be protected because the Father now is coming to take his chosen seed, the ones who have made themselves ready, followed his commandments and his precepts, raised their vibration to a level that attuned to the vibratory level that he wants you to have. He will remove them from off this planet before the natural disasters take place. So now is the warm-up warning time. It won't be warm-up after long. That's why he says, fear not. Fear not anyone who's plotting against you because once you follow my law, they are of no threat to you. None. Do not fear the plot against you. Do not be troubled by those who don't believe. That's why I'm telling you this. And I don't care who want to say, I don't believe. Because I know the Most I will send you signs to make you believe. Because he did say that. And if you still don't want to believe, after you're getting all the signs, some good, some bad, behold, I will send you Elijah in that great and dreadful day. So when you get the great and the dreadful and you still don't believe, you shall die in your unbelief. You shall perish in that unbelief. And that's what America is going through right now. They can't believe all the things that are coming their way. No, 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 no. It's not a, the most die. It's CERN. It's this doing this with the weather. It's that doing that with this. And all kind of different man-made materialistic things are tying to it. Not time that it's a karma coming back to them. The Most High and the Lord have given you the warnings of things to come. Now, the people of the covenant, the ones who go back to the covenant, which says, I am going to abide by the law of not consuming flesh of blood and flesh of cattle and beasts and birds. And those who have turned themselves, their inner self, to the Most High. They've turned their thoughts to the Most High. These are the chosen seeds. For behold, there's a burning wrath that will be kindled against the ones who are here now and the ones who come into their spiritual enlightenment after the first resurrection. There'll be two resurrections. One, the ones who have made themselves ready, the first set of wise virgins, who have made themselves ready, when the light comes, when the pillar of light comes, the signal that says, yes, I'm ready to gather you, they will be gathered and they will go with the bridegroom. 
those who were unwise at that time gets a second opportunity to make themselves wise virgin. That's the second resurrection. For the first and after the first resurrection, multitude will be kindled over you because they know and they're sensing you are those people of the Most High. You're saying things that is contrary to all the belief system now, and you're saying it bold, fearless, and strong in the words that you're saying that they're righteous and of the Most High and the Lord. So they won't like that. So they'll be kindled over you and against you in wrath. But fear not, as it says, and do not be troubled by them. They shall carry some of you off and feed you and lead you to take all kind of things that they sacrifice to their idols. They shall give you flesh and meat. They shall give you their medicine, their vaccination, their COVID vaccine, force you to consume these things because they're trying to entice you to hold on to the materialistic you when you're a spiritual being created in the image of your father as a spirit first, physical man and woman second. But they shall influence some of you to go consume these things, be part of my system, even though it's falling and never to come back. And those of Israel, O house of Israel, those of Judah, those of Jacob who consent and take these vaccination and eat their foods and their fruits and all the other stuff they spread with their pesticides, you shall be held in ridicule and scorn when that first light comes and you're unable to get through that light because you're not attuning your vibration to that light that's come to gather you. And those who after the light come didn't make it and said, yes, I am going to move to the world now because I saw that I was in error the first time. But those who still say, no, I'm not going to do it. You shall again be held in a second ridicule and scorn and be trodden underfoot because the Most High has given you the power in the contract that he has made with you forever. Don't eat their meat. Stay as the herbivore I created you. Follow your five divine laws, your seven principles of thought. Stay away from idols, none. Go back to your Sabbath where possible. If not possible, go within your heart and celebrate your Sabbath. If you don't do these things, you'll be trodden underfoot by those who are on their way to be destroyed. For in many places and in neighboring cities, there shall be great insurrection against you, O house of Israel, house of Jacob, house of Judah, my dark-skinned, melanated people. They'll be kindled in wrath against you, raising attacks against you. Because you fear, not fear and afraid, you respect and reverence the Lord and the Most High. They don't like that because you're getting too much blessing now. Even though you came a little late to the game after the first resurrection, you start getting the blessing once you move yourself into the laws and the doctrine and the statutes of the Most High. They're going to see that before the first resurrection, after the first resurrection. They're fearing the Lord. They're, getting, they're respecting the Lord. They're calling his name. They're singing him praise. I don't like that. They're coming up with all kinds of things and influencing other people to not believe our doctrine of darkness, of evil that we shouldn't love. We should hate and war and kill each other, starve each other, poison our food, poison our air. No, they're stop believing that. Let's go against them. They shall be like madmen. They gone. And his followers, Dagon, the word for dragon, Dagon is their God, the ones who are doing evil, the Philistines, the churches, all the other people that have tied themselves into this materialistic world that has been holding you to the third dimension, even though now you're elevating yourself to go to fourth and move up to fifth. They're trying to hold you in that bondage, that lock, that lower state. 
although you're a spiritual being, Israel, Israel, E-L at the end, anywhere there's an E-L, that's an angel. You're just in a physical body now trying to find your way back home. They shall be like madmen, sparing no one, but plundering and destroying those who continue to fear the Most High. They'll attack you from all angles because they know that fear of the Most High, that reverence that you have for the Most High is unshakable. Don't let it be shaken because they're on their way out. A drowning man or a drowning woman grab anything that they can grab to save them on their way down. And that's what's happening. They're going to grab you and try to grab everyone who can save them. If you can't save them, they try to destroy you. Not remembering that they had set up all this karma for themselves. For they, Dagon, the dragon, Lucifer, the serpent, whatever name you have for it, the ones who have tricked you into your temporary happiness shall destroy and plunder your goods, your possession, and drive you out of your houses because you fear the Lord. But the Lord wants them to do that because he's trying to get you to your safe zone. Your safe zone, once things get out of control, Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, that's the designated safe zone of the Lord and the Most High. Nothing will happen to you in those locations. Once the exodus start, there'll be one exodus during the first resurrection when the first gathering occur. After that's done, there'll be a second exodus when these persecution begin. You shall find your way into the safe zone. Then the tested quality of my chosen people, the dark-skinned, melanated people of Jacob, Israel who converted at that time, the Judah who converted at that time, the American descendants of slaves shall manifest as gold. Your spiritual consciousness will come to light and they shall see you for who you are, the chosen ones that is tested by fire. You move from air. Air is your thought. You're a mental being now. You move that energy converted to fire within you and that fire creates a new spirit and you keep that triangle going, that triad going. You are a creative being. Formation and creation is you. Genesis. That's you. That's the formation and creation. 32 chapters in Genesis. The 32 of the Kabbalah. 22 emanation with the 10 Sephiroth. The 10 tree of life. And you convert yourself to fire in Revelation. 22 chapters in Revelation. The 22 emanations of the Kabbalah, which is the 10 Sephiroth, with the 12 spiritual channel within you, O house of Israel. O Judah, you are the tested fire. Which brings me back to the beginning. You shall be afflicted because you lost sight of who you are. You broke the contract with your father that he's going to do all these things for you. All you have to do, stay away from the flesh, which is of blood. He gave you the instructions. If you want the clarity of it, I'm going to post, I will post Jubilees, the book of Jubilees, which tells you about the contract in your Holy Bible. They did as best as they could to hide it. You won't get clarity on it. I'll give you that clarity. But it brings us to 15 of Genesis, verse 14. The nation that contributed to doing all these things in America, because in America is where the beast of Satan is, the beast of Lucifer is, the beast of Dagon, the beast of the serpent is in America. That's what John talked about, that beast that chase the woman into the wilderness, chase your spiritual consciousness, your female spiritual, your creative mother into the wilderness, into a manifestation where she had to take herself away, but she's back now, giving you the manna 
of heaven, raining it down on you, Jacob, so you can change your name to Israel. Same way Abraham changed his name to Abraham. Same way, same way Moses had his mouthpiece, Aaron. So you, old Jacob, have to change your name now while the Gentiles, while Esau, while America, Egypt, Earth, Assyria, Nineveh, Amorite, Asia, on its decline, so a new formation can come forth. Zion can rise from the ashes of America to form the new spiritual kingdom in earth as it is in heaven. Read your prayer. It didn't say on earth. It says in earth. In mean it's a location. On mean it's a place, the planet. In earth, in America. All comes back to this. Those, O house of Israel, O house of Jacob, when you had no spiritual consciousness of yourself, you were Israel first. Your spiritual consciousness was taken away from you because you yourself started giving problems. But then your contract was broken because you were forced to eat swines, all kind of beasts. And by eating the beast, the flesh, you broke your contract. So someone knew that and they had you eat that meat because they know once you eat that meat, because that's the only part of your contract you had to maintain. Once I get you to eat that meat, you're off your contract. Not forever, until you realize you come into knowledge of it, because that's where they put you into lack of knowledge. Because you're ignorant to certain things, you don't know how to find your way back. And they did their best to keep you in that lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. My people are kept in bondage because of that lack of knowledge. They don't know that all they need to do is go back to their covenant. And their covenant says all you have to do is don't eat flesh of beast, flesh of cattle, flesh of chicken, or flesh of birds. Once you do that, you go back to the Most High and say, Most High, I'm following your plan. Might be individually, I'm, I'm the only one doing it now, but as more people are added, good, give me my blessing now. Start letting my blessing, all the things that you said you're going to do in the contract, start doing it back for me. But this is to the Gentiles. This is to all the people that built their kingdom upon the strength of Lucifer and his fallen angels, all those who have ruled over you, O house of Israel, O children of Jacob, O house of Judah, and have known you, will be delivered to the sword, will be delivered up to the sword, will be brought into captivity, will be carried away, by war. What did it say here? What did it say here? Don't think, O oh house of Israel, house of Judah, house of Jacob, that your father has forgotten all the afflictions that you went through. No, he has not. The Lord has not as well. It's remembered. All those who ruled over you when you should be ruling and did it knowingly, knowing who you are, took advantage of you because you broke your contract and they kept on influencing you to continue breaking your contract, your covenant with the Most High and the Lord. They shall be put to death, put to captivity, put to be carried away as hostage in war. Civil war is coming to America. World war is coming to America. That's where we're going to pick up next. But before that occurs, all the economics of America shall vanish away. 
Just as in Old Eagle, which was Rome, the first thing that collapsed was the economy and all the wealth, so shall it be with the second eagles. History repeats itself. There's nothing new under the sun. So know for certainty, O house of Israel, house of Jacob, house of Judah, my dark-skinned melanated people across the entire planet, especially those in America, you shall see that great substance. And you, O Gentiles, you, O the forces of darkness, the forces of evil, you shall pass away. With that said, stand strong, be strong, stay strong in the words of the Most High, Allah, Yah, Yod, Heh, Va, O, Heh, Elohim, God in our modern day name, and in the name of the Lord of Thoth, Melchizedek, Yehovah, praise be unto you always for sticking to your words and delivering on your promise and agreements. And so shall Israel move back to the covenant, move back to the agreement and the contract which we have made with you. No consuming eating of flesh, of beasts, fowls, birds, and cattle.